It is Sunday, April 16th, 2023. I'm out here at the Fairplex in Pomona for the Pomona Auto Swap Meet. I film this one seven times a year. Always a lot of great cars that are on display and many of them that are for sale. This time there's absolutely zero rain in the forecast. We got the blue skies, the sun is rising and uh, there should be a lot of people here and a lot of cars. So this one should be a great one to watch. So without further ado, let's go get started. So the cars are rolling in. And there are cars for sale, such as this uh, 60 Impala. I believe this was here last month, so I will, usually if uh, I've seen it before in a swap meet, I'll mention it. So it's 49,500, and it is a custom. The sun is still coming up. We'll get a look at this uh, 1946 Chevy pickup. This one does have a for sale thing on the back window. No price on it, but uh, there's that info. Always remember swap meet rules apply. I'd say about a month into the future, uh, check the date of the video and make sure you don't call on any vehicles that have been on here for a while if it's like an amazing crazy deal because we do run into those sometimes i would say make that a week we've had a couple of those before there this uh, camaro this one is for sale There's the info, it's 18,500. I don't know if the number is gonna come through there. How much for the El Camino? Uh, 20. We have this uh, Ranchero project, like a, about a 64, 65, somewhere in there. That's a 65. No price, there's all your info. Churro, 4,500, is making an offer. It's the limited edition. Those remember they used to sell those at Pep Boys. Those remember Pep Boys. So it was last tagged in uh, 2018. Those have a uh, hard shell on it. There's about a mid 60s uh, F250. Probably needs a little bit of help there. This one is uh, 3,600. There's the info. I don't know. Very good walk around. It's on the project truck. Last tagged in 2002, but obviously it's going to be extensive work anyway. Nova that's for sale, no price on it, but obviously this one is extremely clean. You look inside the engine compartment there. I did not make it out to Mopar Sprinkling yesterday. I did promise my daughter I would take her to Disney for Dapper Dance when everyone dresses like it's the 50s. Well, not everyone, but people in the know. So she was all excited about that. And of course, several of my friends were asking me why I wasn't there. But at least we're out here at Pomona filming this today. Well, why not? A couple Harley Sportsters for sale. This one's got the uh, AMF-esque paint scheme. It is a 2018, it's not an AMF era, 8,000. It's kind of what they were going for with this. This one's 8,300. There's your info on the uh, two Sportsters. We're going to show you this Dodge van. Those who want to go vanning. One owner van, 5,500. Of 
Chrysler fans are getting very popular. I'm going to go around this way since there's a crowd around there. So at least you can get a good look of it. Got this beautiful Continental. No price on it. It's a 65 and there's the info. Big white walls. So next week I'm off to Chino Corn Feed Run with my Pacer on the 22nd. Not sure if I'm going to do a show on the 23rd or not. I'm trying to figure that day out. A uh, week after that I'm off to Bakersfield for the National uh, Street Rod Association meet out there. And the weekend after that, first weekend in May, I'm off to Riverside for show and go. So check out, I got a, a tentative list of uh, events I'm planning to hit in the uh, video description. Yes, you can even find boats out here. The a 1980 Caribbean with a 464 in it. Very much of that era. Check out the uh, faux wood going on there. And of course the uh, very like late 70s, early 80s uh, stripe scheme. Ready to hit the lake. So this a uh, Dodge Omni. Look at the intercooler sitting on top of there. <laughs> Why not? There you go. I don't know if you can even see that. $2,500 brings this beauty home. This uh, Chevy G Series van. One's an 83 G10, 25,000. Play with the uh, diamond uh, shaped quarter windows. Poster of Led Zeppelin. There you go, and a, and a sunroof. Very original looking Apache long bed. This one's a '59 for fifteen thousand. I used to have a '58 that was very similar. So it was last uh, registered 2010. Actually, my 58 had that same farm bumper on it. Might have the uh, spare tire up on the side. If you can read the information there. Shut up. The 61 Apache. The 10, so the half ton. Utah title, 5,000. Ford bump side. It says it's 33,000 original miles. Uh, from you got it from the original owner's son, apparently. This one is an F250, the Sport Custom Series. It does have current tags till September. I got this uh, 89 square body dually, 27,500. Had to walk around the long way to get the second side of the clip for this one. Got a, a 94 Ford Flare side short bed pickup with a, a five liter. I'm not going to try to squeeze in there, so I'll just roll right into this one. 
And these guys like to park kind of close together. I see 10. Looks like it's out of Oregon. So it's 18,900. I'm not sure if uh, the phone number is going to come through the windshield there. And putting other signs on it. Yeah, this one might be owned by the same guy because it's also out of Oregon. So we'll see if we can see that one. This one is 24,750. Yeah, it looks like the same handwriting, so I'm guessing it's the same owner as the last one. Oh, he's got a bunch of sign on the back. Oh, there you go. There's his number. There's this 2002 Hummer H1. This is like a civilian market model. 159000 Of course, you can get the military one surplus, but they are very hard to register. I heard they've actually made it like impossible to register at this point. Chevy on a trailer. Sounds like he has a sign on it though. Uh, yeah, I think he actually has a sign on it. Bought a body. There you go. Got this uh, 68 Chrysler. This one a Newport? Yeah, it's a Newport. I believe we saw this at Long Beach at one point. 14,000. I believe I did. We did talk to the owner of this at, at Long Beach, not this, not last week, but the the prior month. If I'm not mistaken. The '69 El Camino, 396, 25. I, I'm guessing it might be a clone at 25,000. I doubt it's a real 396 for, for that kind of money. Still a very nice El Camino. El Camino seems like a really good price if it's a real Super Sport 396. But that is my opinion. So it's just a price on this uh, Ford Dent side. A couple ice cream trucks here. This one could be yours for 1500. Includes all that rust. And that one for a thousand international. So they literally get just about everything out here. Only well, this uh, 1970 El Camino. That one does not have a sign on it though. So we will go right into this Mustang. The 67. This one is a GTA model. 40,000. A 73 square body C20, pre-smog, down is uh, 6,500. Long bed camper special variety. Obviously, pre-smog square bodies are a bit of a premium here in California. And I'm not gonna try to squeeze in between those two trailers. This Ford F100, primer black. 12,000. It's a 53 model, so no word if the, uh, looks like it's got Winston tires, so I'm guessing it might have been sitting a while. Those remember Winston tire. That's where my dad used to get his tires back in the day. Boy, that's a throwback, huh? About oh, this uh, stylish Cadillac Coupe de Ville. It's kind of stuff we see at the shows out in uh, Palm Springs. Here's for 
Mustang uh, Ford Explorer F-150. This is a uh, Mexican market truck. So I'm not sure what that involves for actually registering it in the States. I know California is very difficult. You know, they have the federal 25 year rule. California doesn't exactly go by that. Uh, it's a very cool truck. See, it's still registered in Mexico. Yeah, the side pipes. So I'll bring you a pre-smog Ford. How about a 1917 Model T? 12,500. It says, yes, it runs. Here's the info on that one. Register as a horseless carriage. It's even got an Aruga horn. It's got the uh, Montgomery Ward's Riverside tires. All right, this one was at Long Beach last week. Actually, the guy, I think the guy drove it in last time. 20,000 invested. Not sure what's up with the grill. I think he couldn't find a correct grill for it. That's a, a 1936 Dodge. Our Ford bump side. A 72 F250 4x4. 25,000. The original paint back till uh, January of 24. Does have the typical roof rust of that era. I'd say about half of these have roof rust right there. So you always have to look at on these uh, Fords. The BMW project. Something a little different. This one is a very it's like, I don't know if it's rusty or if it just looks like it's just got old, like, lacquer paint that's definitely showing signs of age. That's rust right there, for sure. So it needs a lot of help. 67. So it's best offer. I have no idea what these are worth, so good luck on that one. Uh, a 34 American Austin. different. $12,000 brings this one home. Not sure if the phone number will come through there, but it's like it's uh, Little Rascals had one on their show. Little Rascals are a gang. Pretty much the same thing. I bought a body for a 61 Chevy. No motor, no train. There's your doors. I need a bit of help. There's no info on it anyway. That was uh, 65 El Camino. So you may have had some recent work done to it. One of them had 35. It's 24,000. Those are Idaho plates. I'm guessing the uh, owner might be out of Idaho. The manual transmission. Plymouth. We got that hood ornament there. Yeah, they couldn't get away with that now. No sign on it, but just a very interesting original 30s Plymouth. Uh, 76, so it is a small gear. C10. 12,500. It is a 4x4 four four variety. I always get people asking me, I have not heard anything about a new bill for uh, raising the smog gear up. They have not introduced a new bill. So, so I know I was making the videos on that a few years ago. I would say I'll make a new video as soon as I hear something. But uh, And then the assemblyman who introduced the last bill is no longer an assemblyman. So I do know that. So 
another Cadillac. This one's got a uh, moonroof in it. It's a 76, so once again, a smog gear. $18,999. Uh, fortunately, we're dealing with uh, foggy windows this morning. Big Cadillac coupe. So I originally I thought about going out for day two of uh, spring fling after this, but then my, I, unfortunately I do have to have my kid this afternoon. My, my ex is sick, so, and she wants to go to the mall. So this is the only video you're getting from me this weekend. A3944 uh, Porsche for your German sports car fans. One owner car. All right, so I just ran into my dentist here. How about that? <laughs> Check out this road runner. <laughs> Not sure if he had this at the Mopar show yesterday because they have a swap meet at uh, that as well. Uh, yeah, I'll see the info on this uh, road runner. I got the 63 Impala. Go ahead and Paul, let's check out the uh, Lowrider show. This one does have a little bit of rust that somebody has uh, filled with foam because you know that that stops the rust you know actually it makes it worse <laughs> it just traps in even more moisture yeah, no info on that Paula this uh, 40, 40 deluxe coupe Got a 55, a 56. These are not for sale. We got a 54 that is for sale. 25,000. I'll come around the other side. Give you a good look at it on the other side. Where you can see it a little bit better. So actually my my uh, dentist has a Woody here for sale apparently. So I guess we're going to have to find my dentist's Woody later on. Give you a good look at that one. This uh, 56 F250 pickup. It's got a little bit of issues. Yeah, it's a 56 Mercury. I know we've seen this here a few times before for sale. 14,000 runs, but obviously needs a restoration. The 1936 Chevy, 48,000. It's a Uh, 55 olds to a hard top. 98 so top of the line. 18,500 does need some restoration work. It's like the uh, stainless is missing around the uh, windshield as well. Got a uh, steak bed truck. Does have a little bit of a uh, Extra weight reduction for air intake in the hood. Is that what that's for? I believe it is. 7,500. Got this uh, 56 Ford. This one's been for sale for a while. I've seen this one out here and at Long Beach multiple times. So there it is again. So, so far no takers on this one. The beautiful Chevy Fleet Master two door. The info on that is 23,000. Be very clean. That's 41. 
on Chevy fleet line. There's 37 Ford Cabriolet. Thirty-seven Buick. Bring in some more of these uh, cars. Fortunately, one guy brought a really loud sound system, so I had to like get through that section as quickly as possible. I guess this 55 is for sale. Grand on that one. All right, I got this uh, 48 Chevy, 19,500. So info there. It's like an older paint job. It's got a little bit of showing its signs of age. Right, these cars aren't for sale. It's a 56 Bel Air Ford that is for sale. That's 28,000. Six two door twenty three thousand right there. Fifty six Chevy pickup. This 52 Studebaker pickup. I'll get you as much as I can of this one. There's a lot of people around it. The biggest crowd I've seen out here in quite some time. The 74 Corvette could be yours for 13000 The 350 and a 700 R4. So they had a little bit of fiberglass repair there on the hood at one point. Yeah. This one has the little split rear bumper. Looks like they painted over the... I'll bring you some more of the Corvette section. The Stingray is not for sale. This is a 67. Of the uh, small block variety, 327. That's not what it would have originally had. It's a 78 pace car. This one does have a sign on it. Let's see if it's for sale. Uh, 15,000. There's all your info. And of course, the uh, 78s were all denoted as the anniversary edition. Oh, we'll give you a good look at that because that's, I don't know, that's probably not a terrible one. That's a good price, I would say, for a pace car. I know the ones that were like put away with zero miles go for like crazy money. 
This one I believe we've seen before as well. This. Oh, maybe not. I could be mistaken. So it's twenty-five thousand. Got a nice sixty-three. The seventy-three for twenty-five thousand. So it's got the very seventies looking side pipes. It's an automatic. Don't forget yeah. to get me in there. I'll get you in the video. Big Mike. All right. All right. The best. <laughs> this is his Corvette. It is for sale. Thirty-five thousand. An automatic transmission. That, last year, the high compression engine. Yeah, last year before they went all smog on and everybody. It's, it, and, and it's a low production, 6,700 convertibles made that year. Okay. There's a C4 that's for sale. That was an 89 model, 59,000 original miles. So there's an automatic. It's been a garage queen, so uh, the last few years, so I just want somebody to. There's a 77 that's for sale. It's got some paint issues there on the. It's not rust, folks, it's fiberglass, but just in case you didn't know. But it is paint issues, so. There's a 2003. That's something a little more modern. I mean, this is 20 years old, let's face it, but we'll just say it's more modern. Yes, folks, we're old. This is a 20 year old car now. believe this ZR1 is for sale. Okay. It's in that uh, green they came in. I don't know if it's going to show up as black, but it's, it is definitely green. 68,000 miles. It's a 57 fuel injected Corvette, 125,000. Four speed. Some of these were three speed. I guess the four speed was like a mid year thing. 57. Yeah, what a beautiful so you Corvette. A, a craft car or? This one is gorgeous. Uh, 93. Yeah, no, 40th anniversary Corvette. Yes, folks, this is a 30 year old car now. <laughs> I don't think this one's for sale. We'll bring it to you anyway because it's very clean. Not sure I want to talk to the car, but there's all your information. <laughs> about those louvers on the uh, rear glass there? Very much of the era. Another Corvette that's for sale. This one's a 2011 for 30,000. Another one. This one. Oh, it's not for sale. He just has some parts. So thought that was a for sale sign for the car. I'll still bring you the car though. 
I'll show you the split window 63. one that is for sale it's a 71 LT1 edition 65,000 does have a crack in the windshield there Chevy that's for sale for thirty thousand. Oh, we've seen this uh, patinaed truck here before. Not for sale, but. Fifty seven could be here for forty five thousand. This ain't the car we'll let you have. No time you have fender? Twenty three thousand for our car. I think this is the one that belongs to my uh, dentist. So it has a website if you want to find the car for sale. Something a bit no, different. It's a 59 Plymouth four-door sedan with a 392 Hemi in it. Or 39,500. The 55 Thunderbird with my favorite original miles. Not how many miles it has, just original miles. The 57 Ford Retractable, 38,500. I know we've seen this one here before as well. C55, it's for sale for 48,000. Nice 57 convertible, it's not, it doesn't have a sign on it though. K5. Neat Mercs. So right, we're going to be going up for what is it, May for Santa Maria Cruising National. So lots of stuff like this up there. So 
has a for sale sign but no information on it. Got a 32 Roadster. Also, have uh, LA Roadsters is coming up in June on uh, Father's Day weekend out here in Pomona. I may come film that on Saturday this time. Last time I did it on Friday, it didn't seem like I had a. I guess Saturday was the much bigger day. See, not for sale, but I will look at it anyway. Okay, I believe it does have a for sale sign. I'll come around the other side then. All right, so it did have a for sale sign, but there's nothing written on it, so nothing to speak of. I think this video needs more mercury, so here we go. A 59 Cadillac flower car done by Gene Winfield, complete with one of the old school trophies. I don't know if I can get the sign, that guy's been standing there a while, I'm not going to bother him, but maybe he can blow it up or something. I get you the sign now. This 53 Chevy Porter with a small block. It's a project Chevy convertible. Here's for 25,000. Some assembly required. More conventional 59 in pink. We have the uh, 40 Ford two-door sedan. This one's been in the videos before. This was even at Long Beach last weekend, 35,000. Obviously, I don't think you could find one and build it for that. Here's a 57 Nomad that's for sale. This one for 73,000. See if that comes up in your viewfinder. It's a neat model, eh? 15,000. The Texaco on the door there. And then it just started like. That yeah, is 57. 100,000. We'll try to freestyle until we find us a car that is for sale. Look at some of the cars that are just on display. Chevy that's for sale. I don't think there's any info other than it's for sale. Yeah, nothing on the for sale sign. I 
360 cat. I don't know if the flake's gonna come through on this one, but it's got like ghost flames. So unfortunately, I don't think the camera's gonna pick up all that. Very clean 60. I'm not gonna trip over this guy's trail. I'll just bring it to you like that. Six Chevy panel. That's for sale. That's got one of the old style uh, Highway Patrol inspection stickers on it. I used to find cars like that had that on it pretty regularly years ago. Try to get the uh, 65 Volkswagen out pretty soon, the one that I'm in with by my stepfather. Unfortunately, he had a stroke, so he cannot drive it anymore, so I need to pull it out, maybe take it to a few shows, see if maybe I can take him along, so hopefully we can make something happen there. So I went to go fire it up last week, uh, the Volkswagen, and. I got to go over back over to all my carburetor stuff and rebuild the carburetor. After that, it should be back on the road again. one was for sale so I thought I'd come back and get some good shots of this one for you this 47 Chevy for 40,000 
actually going to have an in and out uh, what, 75th anniversary show and drag race later on. I believe it's in October uh, here at the dragway and the car show. I went to the one five years ago. I did not, that was when I first started doing videos and I did not film it for some reason. <laughs> but I was actually here with my van for that one. So of course this time I will be filming it. for El Camino. Uh, international travel all with a little something extra under the hood there. Yeah, <laughs> basically. A little bit of rust there on the windshield. 35,000. Ford pickup. It's got the very 80s looking center line wheels. 71 Mustang convertible. By 9,500. I think it's our first American Motors product of the day. Rambler. If you ever need to check the oil on one of these, the dipstick's actually in the uh, oil. When you take the oil fill off. 47,000 miles. It's like it's out of uh, Las Vegas. I'm going to try to get back there. I can show you the interior though. This one is a radio delete car. The 64 GTO, 389, three deuces. Still for sale sign on it though. The 66 Mustang. It's got GT stripes, but so it does not appear to be a GT. Sixty-three Chevy. Fifteen. This one's either this one's a Bel Air. Usually had a six in it. Two door post. Great car for building that four hundred nine car of your dreams. Seventy-two Mach One Mustang. Seventy thousand original miles. 35,000. Yeah, this Caprice, we've seen this one here before too. It's a very clean Malaise era Chevy. Sixty one Impala convertible. Yeah. Sixty nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Got a sixty three Galaxy. 500 XL, two to hard top, 28,000. 
you guys get it from? So we've got a 390 FE. Yeah. Got this OBS 88 Chevy. 16,500. No. The 51 Ford it says does not run barn find. Still got a flathead in there. This is the Victoria two door hardtop. So it appears to be original paint or maybe just a very old respray. A little bit flaking off there, so it could be a very old respray. Project Buick. See so if there's uh, any actual sign with a for sale with uh, information on it. A uh, 67 Ranchero. Oh. Another project Ford for you. 53, 3900. Got a 75 camper, square body GMC. Check that out. 11,000. This one's got the full camper conversion, so. Ready for all your RV needs. See if I can get far enough back where I can actually get the whole thing in a shot. Sixty-six Mustang for sixty k. I don't know about this. It's got more modern uh, three hundred two in it. Actually, looking it over to possibly buy it. It's a 57 Thunderbird, 26,000. The 66 V8 Mustang. Uh, Fiat 124 Spider 83, $19,800. Not sure if this is the 2000cc variety. I think it is. Yeah, it is. 
Got an 83 Jeep wagon here. <laughs> I think the cutest 12,000. Needs a little bit of help. A 79 F350. 16,000. Yeah, Car McGee, we haven't even gotten to the uh, Volkswagen section yet. Oh, you'll say, but okay. Got a 69 El Camino. The blazer. 74 Jimmy for 18,500. So there's a pre smog. It's got some serious clear coat issues. A little bit of uh, rust there on the tailgate. And a whole lot of crunchy right there. Going by. I had a There's a G body cutlass. 7,500 brings this one home. Safety bumper on the front, but not on the back. Little model A. Brookwood wagon, no motor transmission, 4,500. It's on uh, bill of sale only, it says, not title. In California, as long as it's out of the computer, it's fairly easy to do. For sale at 61 for 50,000. Oh, there's our first car alarm of the day. It took a while to get our first car alarm. The 62 Impala convertible is for sale for 53,000. Yeah, with a flyer that's blowing around in the wind. Over oh, 14,500 or best. 
little bit of a restoration project. This Monte Carlo SS that's for sale. This one has the arrow back window for NASCAR. The 64 Continental convertible for 67,500. The Chevy Coupe, it's a bit of a project. 10,000. Dodge A108 van, 8,000, 318 with a three speed. I got a uh, third gen Firebird, 23,000 original miles. It's like just a standard Firebird, not a Formula or Trans Am or anything like that. Another uh, K5 that's for sale, 76 model. I don't know if I mentioned it, the next Pomona is June 25th. So I usually mention that at the beginning of the video and I might have forgot. It's a G-Body Regal that's for sale. I know there's a few people that haven't mastered the art of Google yet. So all the dates are on the Pomona Swap Meet website, believe it or not. The 63 Impala Lowrider. Thousand on this one. For sure, that's for sale. There's beetle coming through. Oh, I need to make my stepfathers do run. <laughs> Actually, it runs, it's just the carb uh, is, is a little clogged up. So, this one's a 59 with semaphores. Yeah, carburetor looks like it might have ran. The 62 Impala. There's your info on that one. Okay, I try to squeeze in there. Maybe I'll come around the other side. A couple of more years. Be a good look here. Ford bump side 302 with an automatic 9500 long bed variety not going to try to get back there he's got his pop up tent that's a 80 GMC C30 dually it's a 454 with a turbo 400 trans we have this uh, 62 not for sale though. But if you don't want to do that kind of thing, you could always do a car with Rhino at the bottom of the scooter. It's International, 55 International with a 5.9 Cummins. See any other information? But the short bed heavy hat. This was here last time too, last month. 19,500. I do remember seeing this one. I had a Cutlass G body lowrider. 55,000. Seventy-two Le Mans. It's like it was a 
vinyl top car originally. Six and a half Chevelle that's uh, for sale. Got a 65 Cadillac limousine for 11,000. Mustang Coupe. Yeah. We'll go on that one. Looks like it needs a little bit of finishing. And a Dodge Dart Swinger. So it's got a 318 most likely in it. Oh yeah, it says 318 on the sign. 9,000. You too can be a swinger. 1938 Chevrolet. Fell on that. This one is a sedan. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I'm from Canada, so I'm debating. But a 69 Shelby GT500 Mustang. The uh, 428. No, but would it make it? So it is for sale. I could probably bring it around. So it was 112,000. It's, it's not the import. Here's the info on the uh, Shelby. I got a deck truck at home. Nice 68 Camaro. 100,000. It's 1970 C10, 26,500. I think I it before, there is an airport directly across the street from here. A 67 Camaro. It looks like it's been sitting a few years. It does have a New York inspection on the windshield. Does not stir. So they had trouble though. Had a '65 Econoline pickup. This one's got the uh, 200 inch six and a three speed. Disc brake conversion, twenty-eight thousand. about something a little bit different, a Henry J. Kaiser, 4,000, your info, as well as the uh, Corsair level. Make your gas or dreams come true. I think this is one of the Allstate ones, you can kind of see the outline of where the uh, Allstate decal was, because yes, they did actually sell these through the Sears catalog as an Allstate. No. Actually, I can make out the uh, decal there on the uh, trunk. About a 88 Camaro IROC. 14,500. It is a manual transmission, so I guess it's a 305. It's a 72 C30 ramp truck. The information. I'm not going to try to squeeze back there, but it is a ramp truck. Little Model A uh, Roadster pickup. Very clean 67, I believe, Beetle. Does not have a for sale sign on it. There's one owner 67 on the plate. A 90s style 
29 Ford street rod. Mirrors for 80,000. Straight out of a car magazine in like 1992. Oh, there's the car magazine. No order if it's from 1992. And it looks like it was in a few magazines actually. Is there a date on that one? Oh, it's from 94. I was off by two years. Just a lucky guess. The 89 Chevy. The crew cab variety. I guess the paper doesn't want to stay in one place. We're starting to get a little bit of wind down here. A very clean one. I'm bringing this truck as well. A 64 Dodge Dart. Got a Ella Swapped Nova, 69,000. It's a 64 Project Impala. No title, bill of sale only, 9,500. He's also got a uh, 70 Malibu Chevelle. Runs and drives, 25,000. Had to bring this Packard, it's got a for sale sign, but no info on it. But we haven't any Packards in the video in a while. So he's got a couple more cars that, without any information on them, like this Buick. Clean 57. Chevy convertible. It appears for 185,000. This thing is amazing. This is all you have to lift it up. It's a gorgeous car. It's just this, right? So I guess I get the right one then. Nice uh, Chevy delivery for 17,000. Look here. Three Continental, twenty-two thousand. Some assembly required. Might be a little Pomona pricing. A Sixty-six Corvair for eight thousand. The 53 Chev, bill of sale only, 3,900. See the info on that. This is 90 Fox Body GT convertible, automatic variety, for 12,000. I still have my LX 90. See, my sister's been driving it. Fifty-seven Chevy wagon for nine thousand or best. Got a fifty-five Bel Air with a six. That is cool. South Dakota. Not a car you see very often. 
Got a 66 Mustang. No price on it, but there you go. Got another 56 Chevy. Good beers for 44,000. Come around this side because the other side, there's a lot of people congregating. Give you a good look. How about a OBS Pace Truck Edition, 35,000 from 1993. So that looks pretty clean to me. So it has a for sale sign, but it doesn't have any info on it. Yeah. It's uh, 63. time as well back here in the uh, Kaiser area of Jeep very clean oh, this looks like a beetle oh, that one says it's sold so don't call on that one for sure The 70 Malibu, 9,500. That'd be a good shot. Now I can't even see the interior. So there's actually a band playing, so I'm going to try to film where the band's playing and not the actual copyrighted music. It's a Buick Riata convertible. Everything on that sign is written in fine print, so I'm not going to even bother trying to bring you that number.
All right, want to stop me? Let you everybody know this car is for sale. All right. Okay. Be on the YouTube. Bring you some more Mopar since I missed the Mopar show this year. 55,000. It's listed as a Challenger. It's definitely a Charger though. I don't know why it's listed as a Challenger, but I don't know. I'm not going to argue, but it is, a, it is a Charger, not a Challenger. Unless it was for a different car, the for sale sign that is. The 69 Roadrunner. 383 gets the same owner. Good videos, good videos. I oh, always thanks. watch it. Says 64. Totally make sure you get it. He's uh Owner of this car is a viewer. Daytona. Okay, not quite, but it's registered as a 71 Corvette, probably because it is a 71 Corvette. <laughs> but uh, I think this is before uh, Ferrari's lawyers got involved with the uh, replica thing. Yeah, you get the idea. So, 67 21 window bus. 85,000. I'm going to try to get in there. Uh, 88 van again. I think we've had too many vanigans on the uh, channel. Dotson. going to wrap things up for Pomona Swap Me for April 16, 2023. I'm back out here on June 25th for the next Swap Meet. I've got a lot of the great events coming up for you on the channel in the time in between, so be sure to check out the tentative list that's in the uh, video description because uh, we got a lot of great ones coming up. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, let me know what your favorite car was, and until next time, I'll be seeing you.